Hello guys, it is Briggs Bo here. Welcome back to my channel and with the international break over, we welcome back the football match day vlogs after a couple of weeks break. So, with it over, like I say, Rovers look to recover from the shaky form recently, picking up just one point in the last three matches as we welcome Huddersfield Town to Ewood Park for the early 12.30 kickoff game as it will be on TV. So taking a look at the league positions then, currently Rovers sit in 14th position on 14 points after 11 games, an average start to the season so far I'd say, whereas Huddersfield are just above the relegation zone, on goal difference in fact on 21st position on 8 points. So it is a huge game for them. Uh, Rovers' previous result was a 4-2 defeat away at Queen's Park Rangers, whereas Huddersfield's was a big 3-0 home win against Hull City. So despite Huddersfield Town's league position, don't be fooled because they are unbeaten in the last three games. We've got fairly bad form from the last three games, like I say, and they have actually got seven of their eight points in those three matches when they got a draw against Millwall and beat Stoke and Hull. Opposition players to look out for today, there are three in particular that I've marked out. Don't get me wrong, there is more than three good players in that side of theirs, which is why I think their league position is a little bit false. But uh, first one I've got down is Carlin Grant, the forward, signed from Charlton Athletic in January 2019, and he is at a very bright start to the 19-20 campaign so far, with six goals and one assist already to his name. Elias Kachunga, the forward, that has been at the club for about three years or so now. Danger man, he's got a few goals already this season. He does make an impact on the pitch and Huddersfield have given him quite a bit of playing time this season so far. So here we go then taking a look at the formation and squad lineup that I have gone for for today's game. You know me, I like to stick with a 4-5-1. Mowbray does prefer this formation as well. So how we are lining up today against Huddersfield, I have gone with Walton in goal. Elliot Bennett as the right-back with Tossin and Williams as the two centre-backs, of course, with Lennyham being out. I do think this is the most likely scenario we are going to see. Alternatively, Ryan Iambi could be in there instead of one of those, uh, either Bennett or Tossin, but I would expect definitely, definitely for Williams to be there. Left-back, I've gone with Amari Bell. There's not too many options there now with Cunningham being out for the rest of the season. The only other one being Sam Hart, who I do like, I think is a very good player. Is he ready yet to go in the first team? Possibly not. Maybe needs a bit more practice uh, with the younger under-23s first. Centre-mid pairings, of course, the usual Travis and Johnson. They've done a sterling job so far. Bradley Dack as the cam as per, with Downing on the right and Adam Armstrong on the left. I've then gone with Sam Gallagher as the lone striker today. But my score prediction for today's game, the big question, I am going with a 2-2 draw. So then another quick one from me, guys, before the vlog gets underway. As you can see behind me, I've got this cool little Blackburn uh, picture frame that I do use for my backgrounds. Now, big shout out to the guys at The Magic Sponge, a brilliant company that do make cool little gifts like this that you can get at a really low price. I mean, just look how stunning this is. The details to it are insane. So this one is a Blackman Rovers design with the badge with all the players uh, that are at the squad currently for the 2019-20 season. But for all you Blackburn fans watching this video, make sure to check it out. I will leave the link in the description down below. Like I say, really good price. And uh, yeah, support the Blues by getting one of these up in your bedroom like I have. <laughs>
three centre backs. Tony, what did you make of that? Well, ultimately disappointed. I think on the, you know, to go goal down so early from a penalty and um, to perform at the levels we did for staff. I think you know we we have to strive for consistency. I think over ninety minutes. Um, which I think every team has to do that. It's difficult to maintain the levels, and yet I think the levels at our best are, are um, should we should be able to win lots of football matches playing at the, at the level we did for most of the first half. Second half, you have to give them credit. They um, swung the momentum their way. You know, disappointing to to, to lose the second half one nil because we could have been out of sight for staff really and. Um, so frustration is the ultimate feeling of the game, um, but credit to them, they've you know they're on a decent run. If we'd have played them five, six, seven games ago, we'd have probably not had to play as well and still won. But um, you'd have to say that Dan and his coaching team have given them a bit of belief, and um, yeah, so you know, we disappointed ultimately. You gave Lewis Holtby his first start, and he gave you a return, a hand in one, and scoring the other. Yeah, listen. He probably needs to get up to speed. He's, he's played what his, his fourth appearance for us. He's you know he's played, come off the bench a few times. It's he hadn't played any football since the end of last season. It, um, he just needs to get up to speed. But he's a very talented individual. He's uh, we're looking forward to the future of him really over the next over the rest of this season. We're playing with Dak and um, trying to link and Downing and and Rothwell and Armstrong and Gallagher trying to I think the front end of the pitch. Hopefully there's goals there. So. Um, with our problems today were obviously defensively we picked up some pretty serious injuries and um, we were mixing and matching a little bit today and um, and despite that I thought the levels were pretty good for staff. We're disappointed to only go in 2-1 because he moved the ball around the pitch particularly well in that first half. Yeah I think so, I think you know you create chances, we created lots of chances today you know that um, that's, that's how you want to play, really. How, how we did first half. That's what we do a lot of work on, you know, from game to game, and you only see the games. It's, uh, in my opinion, there's improvement in the team. What we have to find now is improvement on the consistency of the performance level. So, Blackburn Rovers are playing hugely different from what they did a year ago, for instance. Because Danny Graham, we would play diagonals off Danny, Danny, and drop it down for Dak, and be trying a bit of magic, and we try and score and win games like that. We now managing to control games more. Um, and I hope that as we grow and develop the consistency and the and the the ability of the team to dominate games for longer spells than we did today, not just 45 minutes, um, but for longer to, um, to that's how you win games. The processes are right, and you uh, you can keep possession, you can create chances, you can score goals, you can defend high up the pitch, and. Um, and yet, as I say, credit to them. We, you know, they were in the Premier League last year. And they got some very, very good players, and um, they've got a confidence level about them, having won the last two games. And so, um, we left frustrated and disappointed not to take three points at home again. Well, that moves on to Birmingham City away on the Tuesday night, which I won't be at. But then we have the big one, Preston away as well on the Saturday, which I am very much looking forward to. Uh, one thing I did notice from today's game, just given a bit of uh, my post-match thoughts, if you will, we did struggle defensively at times. I think Bennett, he was out of position in left back in all fairness, but he struggled today. Lewis Travis wasn't as good as his usual self. He looked a bit off it today. Gallagher came on and didn't do a lot for me. Again, he's struggling. He doesn't seem to be able to find the net. It's as simple as that. All that is left for me to say then, guys, is that I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, I will see you guys all very soon.